Today, Penny is the subject of our investigation, because something about her is a little bit off. We were also going to change her appearance, but we can't do that. But to give you a hint, it looks something like this. Hey, my eyes are up here. Now I don't know where to look. And where are you going today? Well, hello there. I'm Gus, the chef and... Not you. I want the good one. Ah, here we go. I'm tutoring the little sh today. I can't believe how dumb they are. Finally, someone in this world that agrees with me on something. Oh, that's it? A gift like this has multiple uses. Thank you. I really love this. Well, you just hold on to it until we have those kids. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on this one. A stranger. My name's Vincent. You want to just tell me your schedule and where you live while you're at it? Idiot. Not even going to bother with this one. And this one's even worse. This game just loves to put me in the rain. No matter what I'm doing, it's always raining. Does she even come out on a rainy day? Well, at least she's not barricaded in her room protecting herself from the Pam. The raindrops are really loud on the metal roof of our trailer. I don't care. It's soothing, though. I don't care. We don't have time for small talk about rain. Two hearts it is. A heart event? This should be fun. How am I going to reach that letter in the back? Probably ask a real person for help. You were watching us? I was. But I'm equally concerned as to what Gus is doing over there. What about you? Do you have anything new? Hey kid, the name's Pam. It can talk? We used to have a library, but it burned down with the school. Unfortunately, class wasn't in session that day. I need to make sure that all the books in town support my master's agenda. Most of them that I see mostly tell me how to catch fish. This one is called the Necronomicon. I can make up words too. Leave me alone. Can't you see that I'm trying to read? As you're walking through the streets of town, not holding a book? Since we're casual acquaintances anyway, I'm just going to start coming into your room. If you dig in the dirt, you can find some interesting things. That is such a peasant thing to say. One time I found a dead body. I tossed it in a river so that it would wash away to some other town. Penny, the river here flows straight into the ocean. Anything there is just going to wash right back up on the beach. I know you had good intentions, you're just a moron. I noticed the kids are all avoiding you in this one. Is there a reason for that? Things changed a lot after the Joji Mart went up. It's been really bad for Pierre's shop. Make sure your boots are clean before you go stomping around in my house. You wish you lived somewhere as nice as this. It's annoying to clean a mess. You should know that by now. The only mess I ever clean up is your portrait. Every time my mom cleans up this trailer, I get drunk and trash the place. What a vicious cycle. That actually explains a lot. I'm really a thorn in her side. I bet she wishes I was never born. Most people don't. We actually talk about it every weekend at the saloon. I better find a giant mess in here. Ah, uh, it's so dirty in here. I wonder whose fault that is. Sorry to interrupt whatever that was, but she doesn't have any dialogue. Pam, help me out here. Also no dialogue. Would a poisonous flower coax you into talking to me? Thanks, this looks nice. This is probably asking a lot from those of us in the trailer, but can we have some real words today? Now that she's got her job back, I'm plotting my next move. I think your daughter's probably gonna try and kill you. Don't be snooping around the trailer when I'm out, got it? Oh, that's fine. Have fun dying. Pretty sure Six Heart Penny is going to start to give us some of her real intentions. I'm going to wait right here. Here she comes. And I was wrong. Unpredictable Penny. I've lived in Pelican Town my whole life. It's so boring here. Have you ever thought about, I don't know, moving away from this boring life you don't like? I've been so much happier since I found my master. My life is so much more exciting now. Is your master Pam? I'm still a little confused on exactly what's happening. Gotta be quick today, gotta make it in before she leaves. Not you. I had one too many caramel porters at this- yep. In. Trailer. Pam, you're ruining it! Wow. Big shocker here. Okay, we can still do this. Perfect. And she's gone. Do I even want to waste my time seeing if she'll leave the trailer? It is a Friday. She has to come out eventually. Pam will. Pam embraces the rain. Reminds her of her home in the swamp. And I broke the game. I've got all of two mods installed, but I still managed to do it. One thing is for sure. Pam, you have the worst timing in the world. Please get out of the way. Do we need to move you up the heart meter already? We only just put you at six hearts. I think we're going to give you one more chance at six before we take drastic action. One time my mom tried to sober up, so I spiked her coffee with whiskey. That probably didn't pair very well with the whiskey that was already in her coffee. You want to get drunk with us sometime? Yes. Yay, you're fun, you know that? Not usually what the NPCs would consider me. Where is she going? The library. Of course she is. You live a pretty tame life for someone so evil. It's summer now, just don't even worry about it. My mother used to drive the bus to Calico Desert, but the bus stopped working a few years after she crashed it while driving drunk. Mayor says there's not enough money in the town coffers or else he'd have it fixed. And if that happens, we put Pam right back to work driving the bus. 
That is a nice tree. Did you know that my mother hates octopus? She finds it absolutely sickening. I think she might be allergic. All right, now I've definitely got something to try. Your daughter said you should probably put this in your mouth without asking any questions. So far, mostly just angry. Not as dead as I'd hoped. But let's be honest, that was a lot worse for the octopus than it was for Pam. So, you like to decorate your farmhouse? Love to. It must be nice having your own place to decorate. It's great. I really put my personal touch on this place. If I go in there, are you going to tell me about your rainy metal roof? Oh, look who's actually out in the rain today. The raindrops are really loud on the... You came outside to tell me that? I can't believe, for a few fleeting moments, that I found you interesting. One week later, I was hoping for better dialogue, but wouldn't you know it, it's raining. No Marnie, one idiot is enough for me in this video. This had better be worth my effort, I'm very busy today. When I was a little girl, my father abandoned us because he said he felt trapped. We haven't seen him since. Wasn't that because Pam literally kept him in a cage? I mean, I'm not sure I could blame him. I'm sorry to make things uncomfortable for you. It's just this time of the year makes me think of it for some reason. Anyway, I suppose I should be grateful to him. He's the reason I embraced my dark master. How about I be a dark master for a while? I feel like I'm much more fun than he is considering he has you trekking to the library every day. If you see any red mushrooms, eat them. We're now up to 8 hearts with Idiot Stick. Hi TF. Hi. You like what you see? I do not. It's kind of embarrassing to be the only family in town who lives in a trailer. Well, you're kind of the only embarrassing family. Although I guess I find the humiliation a little exciting. I don't know how to respond to that. I feel like Mayor Lewis is in the same boat though. He seems to also like being humiliated. You know what? With that revelation, let's just get this over with. While we're at it, let's see what this one's all about. I brought the little children on a field trip into the countryside. I take mine to the witch's swamp. The water around here is teeming with fresh seafood. The puffer fish is especially delicious. I'm giving you one chance to make this interesting before we just get married. On the 25th, we'll be having the Feast of the Winter Star. That's not interesting. You're not interesting. Last chance. Are you friends with Linus? He lives in a tent up in the mountains. Everyone ignores him. He's a dirty old man and he smells like sh Tell us how you really feel, Penny. That's fine, Robin. No one cares if you actually open at 9.30. Hey, welcome. Nice of you to join us. I know you're busy and all. Dishes, dishes, dishes. Doing the dishes in my thong gets me really excited for some reason. I feel like there's some things you shouldn't say out loud. But we're gonna get married. That's completely unrelated, by the way. Don't worry, I'm really happy too. Oh, I didn't say I was happy. I'm scared to even ask. Spring is probably my favorite season. There's a certain freshness in the air that turns me on. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Why are you outside? Ah, it feels great to be outside. I could spend all day right here observing every little thing. Or you know, you could help out around the farm. How about we make a new rule? This is now your part of the farm, and everything else is mine. This is a lot more liberating than my old spot in town. I'm very happy here. Oh, so then we're in agreement. You can have those eight tiles and I'll have the rest. It's now summer, why do we not have any children? Summer may be searing hot, but it's great for the skin. It helps me let my master inside you. I would be concerned, but I kind of want to see where this goes. In summer, the ants become very active. I could watch them for hours. It's really fun to burn them with a magnifying glass. I try the same thing with people, but it doesn't work the same. Plus one baby girl. I just want to be very clear straight away what this means for the child. By the way, one of us is going to have to take care of it, and I'm letting you know now, it's not going to be me. Everything went well, and now Little Dove One is part of the family. We're very fortunate. Yeah, I've just never been happier. I feel a lot of regrets now that we have a little demon of our own. Maybe it's just this new responsibility weighing on me. What responsibility? It's self-sufficient in its little cage up there. I really hate being a mother. Well, guess it sucks to be you. Let's see if we can have another one of those. Our little demon is going to have such a great childhood here. Yep. It's going to make the best of its next 40 days. I was really hoping to take advantage of a two-for-one sale with this, but... Good enough. Does it seem better in here? I'm going to head into town today, just for fun. I'll be back in a while. Yeah, I don't miss them either. It's so perfect here. I used to have the most horrific nightmares about being exercised by a priest. But now I sleep like a baby in hell. If these are the kind of things you tell me while you like me, what would you say if you instead hated me? Not quite there yet. Bottom of the list. And all that took was 150 eggs. That hurt. What's your problem? I'm sorry. I didn't see you standing there. By the way, Happy New Year. 
We've got a long, warm year to look forward to. Let's make it a seductive one. I'll try my best. And I hope you haven't got too comfortable yet. Now let's go check on Penny one last time. I already wasted enough of my time with you, asswipe. Get the hell out of my face. Your daughter's mean to me.